get our YouTube. So we're up at Solar Taz, up at their uh, test slash uh, development facility, building a uh, beautiful off-grid system here, all with blue power, 8,000 watt system, 8,000 kVA, 8,000 VA. 8, VA, so yeah, 8 kVA of uh, 110 amp charger. Magic juice. It is it is really significant. 250 volt input, 100 amp yeah. MPPT charge controller. Which is all going to uh, be fed. All the information can come straight to a tablet and it's even got a... Oh, Venus. Oh, Venus Hyden. Venus Jazz. So this, this system will give you every bit of telemetry that you'd ever need to know. Via remote web page. Yep. Remotely. Anywhere in the world you can view, view all of this. Connect it to the internet, you're done. Now, Matt's here terminating you know, DC in from the batteries and he's showing us how to put some real terminal lugs on this is the how, proper way. This is how to cut a 50mm square cable correctly. Look at how straight it is. No pinched ends. No pinched ends. How to insert a lug. Beautiful fresh cable. Here's the secret of it. It's the magic trick that all the experienced guys know. Because you're not going to get that in a lug. No, they're no, they're a tight fit for a reason, aren't they? Tight fit. So that's a uh, 50 by 8 mil lug. Yep. Oh no, it went in. Most of it oh, went in. A little bit of. A, pretty good. Nice, can, nice tight fit. We can give up four strands. Yeah, I don't four think four strands out of 250. I don't think four is going to affect us, is it? I start at the one at the back, the back of the lug. So this is on a 48 volt system, so it's uh, 8000 VA, 48 volt. 160 amps on the input at 8 kVA. Yep, only 160 amps. So, uh, yep. high voltage, less amperage, of course. As you can see, he's only got a few little flyaways, four or five, nothing, nothing to be worried about. They're out of there. You don't solder mechanical crimps like this. Solder. Do not no. solder. It doesn't help. It actually it actually hinders. What do we want? We want some red shrink. Yeah, get some black you got some nice thick orange. black. Yeah, don't cut them too short. This is a resin inside. Heat yep. shrink. This is all there to pr protect against uh, water ingress and protect your cables so that they have a long service life. We're designing this all for a long service life. This isn't a uh, this is cheap Chinese. This is a 30 year service life. 30 year design life. So you'll see the actual resin squeeze out a little bit. And that's making sure that your heat shrink's sealed. Beautiful. None of it exposed to the atmosphere. Yeah. Away from the oxygen, just like the insulation on the cable. And the glue pissing out of it there. Yeah, coming out the sides beautifully. Awesome. So there's our positive for a 48 volt. This beautiful big quattro has a nice protected, protected cable section there where they come through for the DC. It's got the ability to have four cables in. So two negative, Parallels. two positive, yeah. paralleled. Yep. Yeah. So if you've got a 25 mil square cable. You can run a couple. You can run two of them in parallel. You don't have to run the massive cable if you've already got a bank and you're just upgrading your inverter. Let me suggest too, if you get the polarity wrong on a device like this, <laughs> you will blow it up. Don't don't get the polarity wrong. Just Not get it right. Polarity wrong. Just get it right. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful so, great big charge so, controller. So after that's been torqued down. Yep. With the uh, with a with a with a socket and a ratchet. Yep. Done and marked. Just like that. And then your 240 volt or 230 volt terminations there. This is in six square millimeter. Yep. Which is capable of the 32 amps. 32 amps on the main <laughs> side of this device, in and or out. So much grunt. So they'll all be talked down and you mark a line across them so you know if they've ever yes. backed off. Yep. Yep. Beautiful. Yep. Paint, Just paint them all. Paint. Right? Yep. Paint them over. There's your. This is the main switchboard with main incomer, sub mains to a house, local power point, local lighting. And this is the generator incomer. Yeah, under th this the is this is standards the, mandatory two pole. This is the other exciting part. This is actually a charger. So, 
yep. you have your uh, your um, inverter generator or even just decent big quality generator that provides clean power feed it to this it will uh, it will take a charge and charge your battery bank at the same time so it can be used as only a charger or you've got it just in your normal yeah. normal everyday operation mode as soon as you start the generator the 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 Quattro or the Victron Quattro looks at the imp coming supply it's within its voltage and frequency limits and automatically connects yep so it'll charge the batteries and bypass bypass straight too yep got nice nice tinted covers on all the uh, all the boards so this board's going to look amazing when it's done it's so certainly getting there now there's the solar input beautiful great big solar input 70 amps 70 amps of solar and uh, at 250 volts yeah so the beauty of this is you can make decent sized strings because it's got 250 volt um, incoming and yeah six, just six in series yeah. just just really really high quality gear this is about as good as it gets this is as good as it gets this is this is as good as it gets this is if, if you've got all the money in the world and you want to buy the best system and buy it once for 30 years well not even all the money in the world like you're not paying a utility company get one of these just a bit of a Let's just a bit of a play up at Solar Tasmania with Matt, and uh, there'll be some more videos coming. I've just bought a little Blue Energy, Blue Power um, inverter, small baby inverter that will uh, set up a small standalone system that'll be there to run quality components like laptops, things like that, with switch mode power supplies that we don't want to use them dirty, cheap, nasty inverters that you'll see on the channel quite a bit because uh, their power output's disgusting. So. Uh, Matt and I are going to have a bit more of a play today. We'll bring you some more videos soon. Thanks heaps for watching. Thanks, Matt. Catch you on the next video.